Okay, um, again, I apologize for using the messed up camera. But, I just want to get this out there, like, soon. I've been having a um, email discussion with this person. goes by the name MC the Great 123 And I've printed up the emails that each person has sent me. Yeah, I'm not going to show them all, but... Um... Just the stuff that this person says. Um, tries to insult me. Insulted me 14 times in a single email. Where is it? There we go. Called me a hillbilly. Uh, called me a little man like 20 times. Called me paranoid. Told me I need to grow a set of balls. Um, One thing that I want to make a point about this real quick, and I'm sorry I got to make an example out of you, is watch your um, grammar and your spelling. Before I type an email, and a lot of times before I even put a comment, I'll use like a Microsoft Word, and I'll type it in there and get the all spell check and all that stuff done. done. Um, because in here... I spoke over five different languages when I was when I was five years old. Spoke, meaning past tense, meaning you do not speak them any longer. I spoke then. I'm speaking now. Okay. Um licenses, that's not how you spell licenses. Um The melting pot, P O H E, melting pot, P O T. Um, another thing you need to um, check your facts before you send out an email. Because in one, he says during the Vietnam War, your country spent over seven hundred billion dollars. Hit a button there. Seven hundred million dollars in a war that killed over a million of your own citizens. Um, first off, Canada was involved in Vietnam. Um, U.S. De U.S. deaths during the Vietnam conflict, or U.S. casualties during the Vietnam conflict, 58,228 killed in action, 1,687 missing in action, 303,635 wounded in action. Bring your total to 600, or 3,600, or 363,542 total. That's not even half a million. So your fact is your argument's gone right there. You just lied. You either lied or you did not check your facts, which is pretty much the same thing in my eyes. Um, heroes, you think the men and women who get sent in Iraq spilling blood for oil are heroes? Well, I never thought somebody could sink that low. Two things. One, first off, Canada is involved in wars in Afghanistan and Iraq also. Secondly, Obviously, you do not, you have not paid attention to human history. Humans have sunk far below that. Far, far, far below that. Obviously, you've never heard of reports of child molestation, rape, human trafficking, or anything like that. Okay? So, have you told me to multiple times, wake up? Maybe you should wake up. Okay? Um, I have every right to express my opinions. You don't like it, don't debate with me. I don't give a poop. Um... If you don't like it, don't respond to me. Don't email to me. You don't email to me, I'm not going to email you, period. We're done. That's all. If you email me, I'm going to respond. It's a respectful thing to do. Um, here you go. Racism is a problem in the United States, according to you. In a country where there is, unlike your country, is profiting from starting a new war one after the other. In a country where there is terrible education... Healthcare pollution, racism, gun violence, nationalism, Christian conformists, obesity. First off, if you believe Canada is better than the United States, you are a nationalist. That is the definition of the word. One who believes their nation is better than the other. Or one who believes their form of government is better. So, by you calling me a nationalist in a bad sense, you're 
saying yourself as a bad person. Um, and then down here, in my country, Canada, where you can speak your language and earn education, free health care, multicultural freedom, in the States you have the melting pot. You want to turn families of European descent into Americans, speak English, watch football, support the troops. European descent. It's kind of racist in my eyes. And up here where you talk about um, Christian conformists as a bad thing. So Christians are bad to you. Which is religiousist? I guess. Religiousist. I don't know. In other words, you believe Christianity is bad. Um, then you got the, the uh, completely irrelevant um, chest thumping. Um, I spoke over five different languages when I was five years old. How many do you speak hillbilly? One. One. One and a half. One, one. Double negative. I trained with Israeli commandos, world champions, and impressed world champions, unlike you, little man. Ooh. I know a, I know a professional MMA fighter. Ooh. Um, listen, you American conformist. Smoke some weed. It will open your mind. Again. Guns are bad. Drugs are okay. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it here? Yeah. In Canada, where there's free health care, education, multiculturalism, beautiful, clean air, legal weed. Marijuana is not legal in Canada. Decriminalized, but not illegal. Unlike in your country, there is racism, more obesity, no health care, no education. All guns come from Canada. Or all guns come from Ohio. Or all the guns come from Ohio. All the guns come from Ohio. Smith and Wesson's aren't from Ohio. Glocks aren't from Ohio. Heckler and Coke don't come from Ohio. Colt don't come from Ohio. Berettas don't come from Ohio. Um, Barrett don't come from Ohio. Um, Waller doesn't aren't made in Ohio. Um, these are all the guns I know at the top of my head. Oh, here we go. Where's that one? I really love. Let's see a punk stick me up with a gun and getting away with it. You don't know me. Unlike you. I want to reach the peak of martial strategy. So, first of all, you presume... Or you tell me that I don't know you and therefore I can't talk about you. But you know me. So you presume to know me. Let's see a punk stick me up with a gun and getting away with it. Let's try that. Try it. Come on here. MC the Great, one, two, three. I'm calling you out. I will meet you in the United States because I'm too cheap to travel unless you're going to pay for my traveling. And I'll put a gun in your back and see if you can disarm me before I pull the trigger. Now, I'll use an airsoft gun, or I'll use a um, an empty gun, and you can just hear the hammer click. i use a paintball gun. I'm going to do it safely. But, I'll put a gun in your bag. I'm talking, it'll be touching you, like, touching you. And see if you can spin around and disarm me before I shoot you. In fact, I'll do my best to find somebody who has no military training. No weapons training whatsoever. The only thing I'm going to teach them how to do is pull the trigger. And to see if you can disarm them before they shoot you in the back. Okay. So there we go. I had to put that out there. That is my little response to MC the Great 1, 2, 3. Let's see what happens.